Howdy, y'all. <clears throat> I've decided to share my bead collection with you guys. So if you see anything you like, you know, I don't use it up first. Maybe you can comment on it. And I can send you a piece with that in it. If you're my lucky winner. So I just thought I'd kind of give you a little bead tour here. All the stuff I'm working with right now. I've got quite a few of these nice crystals. And these are black and kind of a tarnished silver pewter color. Then we get into the green and blue. I particularly like those little rose and leaf beads. And I've got some uh, tassels back there in a few colors. These are just findings. These are the different pieces I need to <clears throat> put everything together. These are some interesting individual beads and pieces that are more unique. I don't have a very whole lot of those. Lots of big crystals, a few more findings, and I've got a lot of blue beads here, and the silver. So this is what I'm working with to be making my next <clears throat> batch of jewelry. I thought I'd also show the friendship bracelets I've made so far. I thought showing them on that roll would be good, but you couldn't see them as well as I, I thought you'd be able to. I'm really enjoying making these bracelets, and I hope you guys enjoy them too. And the last time I did a little bead tour... A couple people asked me to kind of go slow and show them a little better, so I'm going to try and do that. And like I said, if you see something you really like, uh, mention it to me, and I'll try and make you something. If you're going to enter the contest, I'll send it to you. There's all kinds of... <clears throat> different combinations of these. Lately, I've been uh, really interested in getting some more spacers. I think the spacers are really nice because they uh, they tend to like make a piece look more finished. The spacers are like, let's see, these little pieces that go in between the beads, little flat or disc shaped pieces. These are kind of like spacers. Just kind of flat. And I've been wanting to get some more of those to really fancy a piece up. This item has several spacers. You can see a diamond one and uh, just a kind of a star shape. That one is. And they really, they really dress a piece up to have a little spacer there. And <clears throat> so I've been wanting to get some more spacers. And my husband and I are going to go shopping at the art store. He is an artist and always on the lookout for art supplies. And so I'm going to check out their beads while we're there. And hopefully they have some interesting spacers that will dress up all of these beads and make them look more finished and more pretty. They really do um, really set off some of the beads that really are kind of plain. Like, for, <clears throat> for instance, you could take a bead like this, and with the right setting and the right spacers, this could be a centerpiece of a real pretty piece of jewelry. I've been collecting some crystals, different shapes. These are... Uh, these are particularly interesting. They're flat, and they have a hole on each side. Instead of all the way through, there's a hole on each side. 
So those will be actually very nice for earrings. They can be the center of an earring. And I actually really like these square glass or rectangular glass beads. They're heavy, nice glass beads. And I've got several glittery ones. Those have a slight pattern on them. And then these are very disco ball-ish. And these circles and hearts are also glittery. And here's a, um, some spacers that I particularly like. They look nice with rounded beads or beads that have, let's see, like this, and they're flattened on the edge. A spacer looks real pretty with those. And so there goes my little froggy. If you've <laughs> been watching my channel, you probably hear my little froggy all the time. So these are some of the beautiful beads that Belinda sent me. That's a heart ring one. These have a beautiful flower on them. They're beautiful glass beads. And these are kind of little disco ball. They have a like a material fabric covering them. And this is an interesting piece. I only have one of these, but it has lavender crystals inside of a glass globe. Very pretty. This one's very glittery. And it's pierced all the way through to both sides. So that makes it interesting. A couple of really large teardrop shaped jewels. I particularly like the rose shaped crystal cages. They have a, I love crystal cages. They have a crystal inside that shakes and you can hear it. These are little tiny ones, tiny crystal cages. And some more silver and gold beads. And more findings. And I think that's about it. That's what I've got to work with, y'all. So if you see something you really